What is up guys, and today we're going to be showing off a Sky Striker deck profile. Now, this is our runner-up in our poll that we did last week. Uh, I say the current poll is currently live on the channel right now of the deck profile. The winner of that will be, I say, announced on Monday. But I decided, you know, the, I say, I say Sky Striker, it's, an in, it's, a, it's a, still an insane deck. Like, it was the runner-up, I figured. How I not have the opportunity to show off what Sky Striker can do, even after being banned into existence over over a year ago now, it seems. Uh, it's just, you know, everyone is staking Sky Striker is still rogue, and people are actually just, you know, just give engage to one, see what happens. But, I mean, without further ado, let's just see what Sky Striker can do in 2021. Now, of course, because it is Sky Striker, we are running the three Sky Striker Ray. Um, Ray is your main card. I mean, there's a meme about it they, that people explain, overly explain Ray all the time. Uh, but basically, all you need to know is quick effect. You contribute her and basically link summon a Sky Striker monster from your extra deck. So it's a way to chain block a lot of shit, and it's just nuts. And it's insane enough, so she recurs herself from the graveyard if one of your Sky Striker, say, Link monsters is destroyed. So she is the basically, the, like, she is the namesake of the deck. Like, nothing to it. Then, of course, we have two Rose. Rose is your extender. If you control an, a, a Sky Striker monster, you can, a special or normal summon, you can special summon her. Uh, she allows you to extend. Uh, basically, she helps fuel the rank 4 engine in the deck. Uh, but she, she is a pretty nifty card. That's pretty nice. Uh, pr pretty rad, actually. It's pretty cool. Uh, then basically now for hand traps, uh, we are running the three Gamma Seal. Um, just a way to take out, you know, Dragoon. Outs it. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it outs Dragoon with Dragoons everywhere now. Um, it basically just gets rid of a lot of problematic cards. Like, seriously, like, 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 like. If there's something on the board you can't handle and you draw into Gamma Seal, it's pretty much a, a way to pave your way to say hopefully win the duel. <laughs> then of course we have three Ash Blossoms. Uh, it hits Rogue. It hits the meta. Uh, it's just the best hand trap. It's it's the best generic hand trap right now. Like it, like it's always, like it's always been the best generic hand trap. Now Sky Striker spells. We are running two Shark Cannon. Um, pretty crazy. Uh, basically it's your basically DD Crow for. The deck allows you to just get monsters out of the graveyard for your opponent, and so they can't use them. Especially a lot of, say, graveyard-oriented decks now. Definitely really good against them. Or, also, if you have three or more spells, you can just special summon it. So, it acts as a Call of Haunted on your uh, board. Uh, of course, then we got, uh, say, one multi-roll. Just a way to basically mass set all your cards. That multi-roll is just nuts. Like, it's crazy. Jammy Waves... Uh, just a way to help take out those back row uh, decks. Uh, I say Guru is getting some hype now, so I say that's a lot. That's popping up a lot. I say more. Plus, it has the added thing where you can just pop a monster too. So nothing, nothing. It's just a crazy card. Uh, all, all the Sky Striker stuff's pretty nuts. Now, of course, we have Widow Anchor. Uh, <laughs> Widow Anchor going to three and basically made the deck a lot more better, a lot better. Um, it's nuts. Like this is like your main go-to like play with the deck now. It's just Widow Anchor. <laughs> Like it, it can it can just turn the game around. Uh, we do run two afterburners. Uh, afterburners is a way just to get rid of something on the field. Uh, fortunately, it targets so it's not out to dragoon. So you have to gamma seal it. But pretty nice. This is basically reverse of jammy waves. It's in the in the end. It's just it's good. Uh, then of course we have the field spell. Uh, it's a way to get to ray. It's nuts. Uh, <laughs> I say, say it's just I say three is a little too cloggy. I would think because we do have terraforming and plus we have something else in the deck. Because Sky Strikers basically wants to stall. Uh, then our last two Sky Strikers. One Hornet Drones. It's basically your other Ray. And then one Eagle Booster. Eagle Booster is pretty cool. Uh, basically allows, uh, say, gives you protection to one of your Sky Striker Link Monsters. So it's unaffected by card effects. Um, it's pretty good. And then also if you have three or more spells, it makes it so it's not destroyed this turn by battle. So it's pretty good. Eagle Booster comes in pretty handy. Especially if you want to keep something on board. Now a bunch of generic spells, uh, draw spells, two pot of avarice. Uh, we burn through our link monsters like crazy, so it's a way to recycle every one of them back to the, our 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 deck, so we can basically reuse them next turn. Um, two desire because we run, run lots of three ofs, uh, so we, we don't care if we banish some stuff from our grave. And then of course one upstart, I say to round out our drawing package. Like uh, since engage is gone, we have to have consistency, and draw spells are basically the way to do it avarice is nice because like i said we cycle through our extra decks so much with our say, say link climbings and strategies like it's nuts uh three msts um 
pop your area zero it can do but it's just nice it's just something you can just pop mystic mine say as well so it's definitely just an out to it just anything problematic uh mystic mine of course uh speaking of mystic mine uh helps you stall because you're not you're not gonna have more than one monster on the field so crazy uh helps you stall to push for game otk strategies uh just allows you just to get those those extra turns in that you need desperately um, our OTK enabler, double or nothing. We were running the Utopia package with it, so double or nothing for sure. Uh, terraforming to search out your Mystic Mine or your uh, Area Zero, and then one Rota. Um, then we only uh, say we're running three trap cards, and of course, they're just imperms. Uh, it's nuts. Stops some stuff. Uh, it basically stops combo, uh, basically, depending on where you hit them. It's nuts. I love it. Uh, imperms are just insane. Uh, extra deck now. We're going to go for our exceeds first. Of course, like I said, we're using the Utopia double, Utopia play. Uh, I mean, it's a nuts play. It's eight. It's 8,000. It's, it's 10,000 damage you can push out at once. Like, like it's 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 a way to stall with Mystic Mind, go for a 10k push, and just win for game. Like, it's just our main, it's the main win con. Of course, we do have Boral Sword as well. Push for more game as well. Then we have actually, uh, say, Ningirsu here. Uh, he's pretty uh, nuts. Um, his first effect, it don't matter. But he's pretty cool because once per turn you can send one card from each player's fields to the graveyard. And this card is sent from the field to the graveyard. You can throw some one world chalice monster. Um, and then if he slings someone, you can draw cards equal to the number of world chalice monster cards points here. You can only use his effect in gear so once per turn. And then once per turn you can send one card from each player's field to the graveyard. It's it's not it, it's just it's a way to out dragoon again. It's a built in extra deck. Like you can just send and just get rid of dragoon. It's like it's nuts. So he's pretty good. He's pretty clutch. He's I love him. Uh yeah, so you don't see them coming up that often. Now our Sky Striker links. Uh, we're running one Zeke and one Kaina. These are our one-off Sky Strikers. Uh, there's, there's a reason why they're one-offs. They're good, but they're not just not that good. So only just the one-offs there. Then, of course, we have the uh, three Suzuku. Um, pretty good. <laughs> it's probably the weaker of the three, honestly. Uh, it's just in the... It's Basically, it's only... It's it really in here for its end face effect to uh, uh, add a card. So, it's just a way for you to have something coming up, so you're plusing on your end phase. Uh, then, of course, we have the Hayate, uh, swing for 15, <laughs> and then search. Um, nuts. <laughs> uh, Hayate can definitely, it's an insane card because it can still win in time because it's still 15 to the say your opponent's dome. And, of course, we have Kagari. Now, it's, it's at 3, so as long as Kagari is at 3, Engage will never even come back to 1. Because as long as you have 3 Kagari, you technically have 3 Engage if you have to Engage 1 back to 1. So, honestly, if they bring back Engage, they'll have to cut Kagari to 1 because then it'll be unfair and just broken. Uh, so, as long as we have Kagari at 3, we're going to use it because this is basically your... This, this is nuts. Um, it basically recycles everything, unless you have everything, just use everything multiple times. Uh, Engage, for example, is a good example. So if Engage ever comes back, Agari has to go to something besides three or two. <laughs> so, but this has been, uh, Sky Strikers. Um, uh, it's a really fun deck. It's, it's, it can hold its own still. Uh, it's nowhere near the level it used to be. It's based, it's, I would comfortably put it in a row category, but it's still a super fun deck to play as a strategy. You can definitely still take wings. Sky Strikers can still do a lot of the old shenanigans it can do besides, we'll say without the consistency as it had with, say with Engage, say back in the day. But, so, th so this has been my Sky Striker deck profile updated for, I'll say 2021. I mean, it's a fun deck. I mean, it's super cheap. Uh, so, so if you're interested in a super cheap deck that can, say, take wings and it's rogue, say, look in Sky Striker. It's super fun. It's not expensive as like it used to be. Uh, but, say, hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe like always. And until my next video, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye.